The ninth, Bodhisattva Serene Route. Only a high degree of wisdom can enter a deep meditation. This Bodhisattva represents the wisdom of the Nirvana, the great concentration that the Tathagata has attained on the ground. The great Sharangama Samadhi, mentioned in the Sharangama Sutra. The Avatamsaka Samadhi, mentioned in the Avatamsaka Sutra, and the Lion Fen Shuin Samadhi, are the great Samadhis of the Tathagata. The root refers to the six roots, and the silence refers to the purity and extinction. The Samadhi of extinction is deeper than the Samadhi of Anitpataka Dharma K Santi, recognition that nothing really arises or perishes. We have seen in the, the Humane King Sutra, that the Samadhi of no birth is already very deep. And it is attained by Bodhisattvas of the 7th, 8th, and 9th stages of development. Bodhisattvas of the 7th stages of development are of the lower rank in non-born Dharma tolerance. The 8th stages of development is the middle rank, and the 9th stages of development is the upper rank. Nirvana is the Bodhisattva of ground of the cloud of Dharma, Dharma Mega. The Bodhisattva of the tenth stages of development is the low level. The Bodhisattva of stage of near-perfect enlightenment is the middle level, and the Tathagata is the top level. Of course, these Bodhisattvas here are all enlightened lay Bodhisattvas, not ordinary people. So their Samadhi of Extinction, Naroda Samapati, at least according to the Humane King Sutra. Their Samadhi of Extinction is also the middle grade, becoming a Buddha is the top grade. He is the middle class, has reached the highest peak of the Bodhisattva. Where did Samadhi come from? It must come from wisdom. You do not have the supreme wisdom, how can you attain the realm of Nirvana? Concentration and wisdom are complementary to each other, we must understand this truth. Concentration can help wisdom, and wisdom can help concentration. Wisdom is seeing through, what is seeing through? Knowing the truth, this sees through. It must be that you are in the actual phenomenon, and you can remain motionless. It is on the Diamond Sutra that said, those who practice dhyana should dwell in solitude and, sitting erect, should remain motionless. Seeking to quiet the mind. Do not fix the thoughts on any definite thing that you have sensed or discriminated, or memorized. Not to be attached to definite thing is not to be attached to appearance. Not to be attached to appearance outside, not to be moved inside, this is meditation. Your deep meditation skills help you see through. That is to say, as the truth becomes more clearer and clearer, and more thoroughly seen, the more you see clearly, the deeper and deeper your meditation will be. In principle, ordinary people become Buddhas through samadhi and wisdom. We usually talk about concentration and wisdom. But it is difficult for everyone to understand. Thinking of this concentration and wisdom, it is probably not something ordinary people can learn. And it is too deep and mysterious. So, let's put it another way, see through and let go. Which is easy for everyone to understand. Seeing through is wisdom, letting go is samadhi. To see through is to understand the truth, and to let go is to let go of delusions, distinctions, and attachments, which are the root of all afflictive karma. Zen often talks about cultivating from the root, and teaching is no exception. We must practice from the root. What is it at all? It is simply delusion, distinction, and attachment. Let go of delusions, distinctions, and attachments, and you will become a Bodhisattva and a Buddha. Delusions, distinctions, and attachments are increasing every day, it's incredible. If you grow these things, you can't help but create karma, 
If you create karma, you can't help but receive retribution. We have to know this. We can't take it as a trifling matter with the earnest teachings of the Buddha in the classics. Think more, do it, and work hard. For beginners in Buddhist precepts, the precepts are very strict. Why? We are still ignorant, just like children, three or four year old children are ignorant. When he was in kindergarten, the teacher had to teach him many rules. He had to watch him from the sidelines so that he could develop habits, avoid mistakes, and cultivate his instincts. Buddhism is no exception. Beginners must abide by the teachings of the Buddha. When you have concentration and wisdom in the future, you will naturally be able to be the master, and the Buddha doesn't need to take care of you like that.